Hello everyone! As you can tell in the title, I am doing a garage sale haul. This is the first haul of the season and I feel like the garage sales are just prevalent right now. But I found some good things and it's kind of a collective haul from the past couple weeks because I got a few things a couple weeks ago. And then this past week, I found some things that I think you'll enjoy, uh, some decor, and then I'm gonna do clothing after. So I'll insert the time where the clothing starts if you wanna skip the decor or if you wanna stop after the decor or whatever you wanna do. So let's get started. The first piece is actually this basket right over here that I use for my daughter's toys. I found this one a couple weeks ago when I was just out and about in our local city, well, 45 minutes away. Um, it was $2 and it corrals all her toys really well. I love that it has a lid. I don't mind the color of it. I wish it was a little bit lighter wicker color, but it does the trick for corralling toys and I'm really happy to have that. I found these plates when I was out for a walk in our town actually. This plate, the serving dish, and this matching bowl. It actually had a tea set, plates, other things. I only took these two items for $2. And I like the flowery design on the edge, the light blue. I just wanted something prettier to serve when guests come over. It is um, hand painted, made in Japan. So I don't know if it's truly an antique or not. I should do my research on that. All right, uh, continuing with decor, I got this white throw or lap blanket for $3. It originally was marked at five. I always, always offer lower than whatever the price says on the tag. I think it has such a beautiful design on there with the fringe and it's not stained really much, a little bit, but I'm okay with that. I mean, that means it was used, that's okay. And I think this is my third white throw blanket, but I just think it's so beautiful. And I love having white throws on the couch and on our bed and stuff like that. So there was that for three. Um, okay, this picture frame I got for 50 cents and I like the antique look of it. I don't think it really is antique. No, it is not. <laughs> so um, I just think it's really cute. I'm gonna end up taking this out of the middle that they probably made. It looks really wet anyways, and put something in there. I'm not sure yet. This was probably a splurge buy, but I, I like the frame enough that that's why I got it. At that same garage sale, I got this little fork for gardening, and it was a dollar uh, originally, but I think I got it for 50 cents. So uh, this is kind of a tinted, green fork it looks really cute on my summer patio so if you haven't seen that video i'll link it in the description box but i thought this was really cute to display and i might even use it just to you know stir the soil a little bit so that was 50 cents okay and then at another garage sale i got these terracotta planters and I love terracotta planters. I use them all the time for a dollar. I got this stack of I think five. So I use them in the spring when I plant my seeds. I use them to decorate outside as well and just throw in my garden. And I just, I don't know, I'm a sucker for terracotta planters. Um, okay, and then two more things I got, not really decor, they're more useful, are a grilling spatula and tongs. I got both these items for a dollar. We just needed them and so I picked them up because I saw them and I do want to invest in a little better quality one but for now this will do because I was broke. Okay moving on to clothing here. I found these sandals for a dollar. I wanted something cute and slip on. You can tell they've been worn but not worn enough that this is all worn out. They are the Sonoma brand and at this sale everything was marked a dollar and they are my size perfectly. So they're cushy enough too that they're not uncomfortable. They've got a little support. I thought something cute to wear to church or a date whenever we get back to doing some of those things. Alright and the themes of clothes for me. I found two sweaters for myself. I love gray sweaters, especially ones with pockets on the side, and this was 50 cents Faded Glory brand. I just want something a little more um, 
feminine, I don't know if that's the right word, to wear around the house instead of like my husband's old flannels. I don't know if that's odd, but I wanted a sweater because when the summer hits and the air conditioning's on inside, I always get really cold. So this is a long sleeved button down sweater with some pockets. And then this other one was a dollar. And I believe it's probably like from the 90s because it has cloth buttons on it. And I don't know this brand whatsoever. Marciso Rodriguez, something like that. It is so unique. It's very retro-ish with the blue and then the green on the bottom. But another thing to wear around the house, that's, that's what I'm using these for. So two sweaters for me. And now on to my little girl's clothes. I stopped at two places in particular. So total for her clothes, I spent $12 for, I don't know how many pieces here. I'll go through and show you. But to begin with, I got three dark dresses, this cute little pink one, and I'm hoping these dresses will fit her. She's a little more broad and chunky, so I hope they're not super tight because she needs some new church dresses. So there's that one. This is my favorite. This one should fit her. It's definitely wide enough. Um, this jean button down. Oh, so cute. Carter brand. I just thought that was adorable. And then this blue and white polka dot with the pink. This one may, I don't know. I just, I haven't tried anything on her yet. I've washed everything. I haven't tried them on yet. It's Carter's brand again. This is my favorite blouse for her. Isn't that so darling with the floral print? Um, and it's, uh, I don't know what material it's made from, but it's from the children's place. And I just thought this would be so cute on her in the summer. Looking for a tag to see what it's made of, but not sure with this little thing around the waist, it's buttoned down all the way down the back. So um, that'll make it easier to put on. All right, this little blouse has some stains on it. I need it to be a little more thorough. I kind of rushed, I think, but it's really cute with the puppy sleeves and the little flower detailing there. It has a couple buttons in the back. These look really well when she's outside with me in the garden. Because she gets so dirty. <laughs> and if it's already stained, then I don't feel so bad about her staining it more. A Carter's t-shirt. I do like the button down as she's only 14 months and so I, I just do. I like having the button down still. Okay, this pajama set with a panda. She needed some summer pajamas. This swimsuit is a 3T. Like I just said, my daughter is a 14 month old. So it should fit, but she's she's definitely wearing same size clothes as some of my um, two-year-old nieces so this has Ariel on it it's probably just the Disney brand yep but I thought why not she needs a swimsuit we'll just put a swim diaper underneath and if it lasts this summer perfect if it doesn't fit I was only out a couple bucks this little bloomer was free so I thought that was perfect it'd be really cute under that jean dress that I found for her and then this little score is just adorable. It's from Old Navy. It has little pockets here and it does have shorts, so it's a cute skirt. And finally, a pair of pink shorts with the little pockets and the tie, so it can get a little more cinched on the waist, but with her being a little broader, I don't think she'll need that. So those were all my items, actually. I didn't find as much as I would have liked. I just it just didn't end up happening because we only garage sealed, like I said, for a few hours and it's hard when you got the little one and it's hot out, but I'm sure many of you understand that. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm so glad garage sale season is here and I look forward to taking you along with me on some of my garage sailing adventures because I know you enjoyed those last year and I hope you guys are able to get out garage sailing as well. It's just nice to buy secondhand. I don't buy anything brand spanking new, hardly ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't yet. If you like these type of videos, simple living, um, homemaking and motherhood. So I'll talk with you in my next video on Friday. All right. Love you guys. Bye.